Hey everyone, I'm Carly Hall, and in this video, I am going to go over some beginner terminology that will really help you with your crafting experience. So when I first started crafting, I really did not understand the difference between iron-on, or as some brands call it, heat transfer vinyl, and the abbreviation for that is HTV. So heat transfer vinyl is the same as HTV, which is the same as iron-on. First of all, I didn't know that for a long time. And then what the difference between adhesive vinyl and HTV was. So my hope is that in this video, I will show you how to identify which material you have if you've taken it out of the packaging. So looking at this, and how do you figure out what this is? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then I'm also going to show you how to load it onto your cutting mat so that you know which way to cut it. Do you need to mirror it? And then I'll link you to some videos on how I use these materials so that you can use this video as a reference every time you have that question. Do I need to mirror this? Or which way do I put this on my mat? Color side down, shiny side up, glossy side down. So this video will walk you through all of those questions so that you can get back to crafting and making the things you love. All right, let's get started. We are going to first talk about heat transfer vinyl which as I mentioned is the same as iron-on. So iron-on is the term that Cricut uses to refer to anything that needs an iron or an easy press or a heat press to apply it. Now I have a black sheet of iron-on and I can tell this is iron-on for two reasons. It has a glossy side and a dull side. I also can see that there's no gridded liner on here. But if I still was curious, if this was iron-on, I can take a pair of scissors and just snip off a tiny little corner of my material here. And then using a weeding tool, I can just peel back the material like this. And I'll show you a close-up since I'm kind of far away. But when I peel it back, you'll see that this is not sticky. So there's no adhesive that I can feel. And the reason because, is because my adhesive is actually on this side here, and I won't be able to feel it unless I actually applied heat to it. So the first clue, if you can't look at this and see that this is iron-on by seeing that one side is glossy and it's the same color on the other side, then snip off a corner and peel it back and just touch it. And if the colored portion is not sticky, then that is iron-on or heat transfer vinyl. Now, a lot of people will tell you, well, it's always the same color on the front and the back. But if you look at this sheet right here, it's yellow on this side, but white on this side. And again, that's because this is my adhesive side. So when I apply this, it will actually be down on my item just like this. Now you use iron-on to apply onto mostly clothing, but you can also apply iron-on to anything that's heat resistant. So you can apply it to things like wood or um, even glass, anything that can hold up to the heat of an iron. So when you apply your material onto your mat, the rule is usually glossy side down, and that's because it has a, a liner on the material. So when I apply my material, I like to roll it up so that just a little bit touches the top of the mat and then just smooth it out along the back. Now, since the glossy side is down, again, we're gonna apply it with the glossy side up. So we need to mirror our image. So when you apply it iron-on or HTV or heat transfer vinyl, you'll stick it glossy side down on the mat, the adhesive side will be facing you, and then you'll cut it with the mirrored image. So again, I will link to a full tutorial and you will see how to use iron-on material. And then for the yellow, it's the same thing. Glossy side down on the mat. And then the white side, the adhesive side, will be facing you. Again, you'll mirror your image. So even though the color is down and this is white, this is iron-on, and you can use the same tip by cutting off a piece of the iron-on to see if it's sticky so that you know that you actually are using iron-on. 
And then another tip is you can flip your mat over like this to make it a little bit easier to remove your material. Okay, so those are both iron-on. And again, you apply these using an easy press, an iron, or a heat press. All right, let's talk about vinyl now. So now if I have a piece of black iron-on and vinyl, and I'm confused how to tell the difference, now you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. This is Cricut Premium Vinyl, and you can see that one side is black, and the other side has a liner, but it's different than the type of liner that this product has. So here on Cricut's newer materials, it does actually say what it is. So this is premium vinyl and it's removable. But I have some older material that is not Cricut brand. And when I open it, you'll notice that it looks very similar to my iron-on because it's white on one side. So again, using my little scissor trick, I can just cut off a small little corner. And when I cut off that corner and then weed off my side, this side is actually sticky. So this is adhesive vinyl, it sticks on to me, whereas my iron-on material is not sticky at all. It needs heat to apply. So that is my adhesive vinyl. And the way that we cut adhesive vinyl is by applying it to the mat with the liner side down. So the color will actually be facing you in this case. So we'll put it on our mat just like this with the liner down on the mat and the color facing you. Since the color is facing you, you do not need to mirror this material. So I can cut my name just the way that it is, no need to mirror, and then I'll weed it and apply it. So again, I will link to a full tutorial on how you use that. And also want to mention that in order to use adhesive vinyl, you can also use transfer tape to transfer it. So adhesive vinyl, you need transfer tape. With iron-on, you do not because the liner is actually already on the product. So there is a clear liner and I don't think I have it anymore since I just peeled it off. But when I peeled off that little corner, there was a clear piece and that is actually your liner. So there's a clear liner already built in, whereas in order to transfer the vinyl, you'll need a piece of transfer tape. Again, click on the links to my videos to see full tutorials on how to use these products because I think that will help you a little bit more. And then the last thing, a lot of people will say, well, look at your material and if it's glossy, it's iron-on. But I just wanted to call out that some of Cricut's products and some vinyl on the market is glossy adhesive vinyl. So you'll see that this product almost looks identical to this product. This is Cricut's premium permanent vinyl. And again, I know this by opening it up and I'll see a liner, a white liner on there. But say I used a product that didn't have any type of words explaining what it is. Again, just cut away the corner. And if you see a sticky residue or feel a sticky residue, you will know that's adhesive vinyl that you'll use with transfer tape. And you'll apply that to surfaces like mugs or um, plastics, bags that you know, can't hold up to the heat, walls, things like that, even paper. Whereas iron-on, you need a heat application like an easy press, heat press, or um, iron. And you'll only want to apply this to surfaces that can withstand hot temperatures like canvas, burlap, other fabrics like apparels. You can apply it to wood or glass as well, but you will not want to apply this to plastics or anything that can melt under the heat of an iron. So again, we have our vinyls that you apply onto your mat with the color side facing you and the iron on, you'll put the color down on the mat with the dull side facing you, so glossy side down. And again, this one has a white inside, so I just wanted to call out that sometimes it's not the same color. You'll put that down on the mat and then cut it mirrored. So iron on heat transfer vinyls, HTVs, you'll cut them glossy side down on the mat, mirror it, and then the liner's already there. And one last time with the adhesive vinyl, 
you'll cut it right side up. You do not need to mirror it and you'll use a transfer tape to apply it. I know that that was a lot of information in one short little video. So again, make sure to watch that a couple of times or reference it when you're using those specific materials or you're trying to figure out which material you have. But usually the dead giveaway is that liner. Most materials do have some type of liner. It may not indicate what type of vinyl it is, but when you see that liner, if you just trim away a piece, you can usually figure out if it's adhesive or if you need to use an iron or easy press or heat press to apply it. The other thing is that with all of the adhesive vinyls, um, there's different strengths of stickness. So I have removable vinyl by Cricut and permanent vinyl by Cricut. Other brands also have a very similar principle system with removable and permanent. Some people like to refer to 631 vinyl as removable vinyl and 631 631, those numbers refer to removable. If you hear people say 651 or 651 vinyl, that's referring to permanent vinyl. Now both vinyls can be used outside or on cars, but really the difference is that the removable means that you can peel it off and there won't be any residue left behind. Whereas permanent, if you try to remove that, it's so permanent that there'll actually be a residue left behind. So permanent applications, I would say, would be things like signs that you know that you wanna keep on a piece of wood for a long time, or something that needs to stand up to elements um, like water or outside elements like snow. So things like that. So 651 is permanent. Cricut just calls it permanent vinyl. Removable is 631. So again, a lot of information, but hopefully this video will kind of get you thinking about all the different types and give you some tools on how to see which materials you have. And another pro tip is keep your materials with the packaging. So I like to roll up my vinyl and put it back in this tube, or I like to put a piece of masking tape and just label what that material is. So then I just kind of can reference it since most of us throw away our packaging. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have questions or you need help identifying which material you have, make sure to join me in my Facebook group. I have an entire Facebook group called Cricut Crafts with Carly Hall, and I'd love to have you there. I'm always helping with questions and so are the other group members. They're really helpful in answering all the questions that I can't get to. So I'd love to have you there. If you have other questions or you wanna reach out, you can leave a comment below or reach out to me on any social media channel as well. If you found this video helpful, I would love if you like it and subscribe to my channel so that you can be up to date with all of the other crafting tutorials that I release. All right, thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.